XLOOKUP is a great replacement for VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP function searches a range or an array for a match and returns the corresponding item from a second range or array. It can do everything VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and mostly index match functions can do. Here is the syntax. The XLOOKUP function can have up to six arguments. Only the first three arguments are required. The last three are optional. Lookup value, the value to search for. Lookup array, the array or range to search in. Return array, the array or range to return a value from. The default match mode is an exact match, meaning the lookup value is matched only if it finds the exact value. No need to count columns any longer. Just provide search and return columns. Use this formula to look up for a country name in a range and then return its dial code. Lookup value is entered in F2. Lookup array is the range A2 to A9 and return array is range C2 to C9. The function looks for the country in F2 in the range A2 to A9 and finds in position 4 and returns the dial code from C2 to C9 in that row. We can use XLOOKUP to look horizontally in a row. For horizontal lookup, enter rows instead of columns. To get the population of a country, use this formula. Lookup value is entered in C8. Lookup array is the range B1 to F1 and return array is range B2 to F2. The function looks for the country in C8 in the horizontal range B1 to F1 and finds in position 4 and returns the population from B2 to F2 in that column. In earlier versions of Excel, index and match formula was the only reliable way to look to the left or above. In XLOOKUP, the sequence of columns or rows doesn't matter any longer. So the search column doesn't have to be the leftmost column in the table. Specify the lookup array and XLOOKUP will handle it without a problem regardless of its location. Country is to the left of dial code column. To get the country based on dial code, use this formula. Lookup array is C2 to C9 and return array is A2 to A9 which is to the left of lookup array. The function looks for the dial code in F6 in the range C2 to C9 and finds in position 3 and returns the country from A2 to A9 in that row. Similarly, you can look above when searching horizontally in rows. For example, rank is the last row in the table. To get the country based on the rank, use this formula. Lookup array is the range B5 to F5 and return array is range B1 to F1 which is above the lookup array. The function returns the country for the rank entered in C12. XLOOKUP can return multiple values. Pass a range including multiple rows or columns to the return array argument instead of a single column or row. XLOOKUP looks for the lookup value and when it finds a match, the entire row or column in that position is returned. To get the details of the employee, pass the entire range B6 colon H21 including all the columns. Enter the formula in the top left cell of the results range and Excel automatically spills the results into adjacent blank cells. The values are returned in the same order as the columns in the range. Enter this formula in the top left cell of the results range. Lookup value is in A2. A6 to A21 is the lookup array. B6 to H21 is the return array which includes the column's first name to department in the range. The function looks for the employee ID in A2 in the range A6 to A21 and finds it in 9th position and returns entire row. The entire row including all the columns from the return array B14 to H14 are returned into the range B2 to H2. All result cells display the same formula. You can edit or modify the formula only in the first cell. In other cells, the formula is not editable. The formula bar is grayed out. To return the results vertically in a column, enclose the XLOOKUP in the transpose function.
you can see the results are populated into the column. You can return an entire column of data, for example, budget. Use this formula, pass G1 that contains budget as lookup value, the range A1 to D1 containing the column headers as lookup array, and range A2 to D16 containing all data as return array. XLOOKUP returns the entire budget column. Since multiple values are populated into neighboring cells, make sure you have enough blank cells to the right or down. If Excel cannot find enough empty cells, a pound spill error occurs. The cells I4 to I6 are not empty. If you enter the formula in I2, it will return a spill error. When the lookup value is not found, XLOOKUP returns an pound NA error. The fourth argument, if not found, is optional. If the lookup value is not found, the value passed in this argument is returned. For example, this formula returns an error since the dial code plus 25 is not found. Now extend the function to return code not found when dial code is not within the list. Pass code not found as the fourth argument to return that value when there is a pound NA error. Now the function returns code not found when you look up for plus 25. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.